The Hanwha Defense K-239 Chunmu is the successor to the K-136 Koryong Multiple Launch Rocket System MLRS, system fielded by the Modern Republic of Korea Army ROKA, and detailed elsewhere on militaryfactory.com. While the original offering was a Cold War era development heavily influenced by the line of successful Soviet Kadyusha rocket projecting systems, operated in number by neighboring North Korea, a potential regional enemy, the K-239 takes a more modern approach while retaining the same qualities of mating a proven military truck with a lethal rocket launching component. The K-239 is comparable to the American HIMARS and M-270 rocket launching systems, both detailed elsewhere in the military factory. After design work, by the Agency for Defense Development, spanning from 2009 to 2013, the K-239 began formal operational service with South Korean forces in 2015 with over 215 units built to date, 2022. Quantitative serial production of the units has been ongoing since 2014 with Doosan DST handling the truck component and Hanwha responsible for the rocket launchers. The 31-ton vehicle has a length of 29.5 feet with a beam of 9.5 feet and height of 10.9 feet. It is operated by a crew of three and powered by a Hyundai Doosan InfraCore DC-11K six-cylinder air-cooled diesel engine. This gives it a typical road speed of 50 miles per hour with an operational range out to 280 miles. Armor protection is up to Stanag 4569 level 2 allowing it to be fielded somewhat close to contested front lines. The general configuration of the vehicle is conventional with a cab over design at front and the rocket component seated over the rear. Instead of the 6x6 wheeled arrangement seen in the earlier K136, the K239 makes use of an 8x8 wheeled arrangement for improved weight displacement and cross-country support. The launcher component can traverse to face a direction independent of the vehicle's facing, adding an inherent tactical capability to the design. In the field, the MLRS is used as an indirect fire support vehicle, capable of targeting complete areas and saturating them with rocket artillery. While naturally lethal, such battlefield solutions add a psychological value not seen in other weapons. The K239 supports a 131mm K33 series battlefield rocket and houses these in a pair of compartments seated side by side in the launcher unit. There are three distinct rocket forms supported, 20 by 131mm K33 unguided area saturation rockets, 6x 230mm unguided dull-purpose improved conventional munition, PICM rocket, and 6x 239mm cluster, bomblet dispersing, rockets. Generally the larger the caliber the greater the potency but fewer rockets can be housed. With its two-pod approach, the launcher unit can technically house two different rocket designs in the field. Launching is either from the operating cab itself or through remote means. The vehicle can loose up to six 239mm caliber rockets every 30 seconds and reloading of the entire container can be accomplished in under 10 minutes. As many as 18 launch vehicles can be assigned to a K200A1 command vehicle for maximum effectiveness. Beyond its fielding by the forces of South Korea, the design has been taken on in number by the United Arab Emirates, UAE, 12 units. Poland has committed to acquiring some 288 of the type while Norway remains a potential future operator, having signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MAU, with Kongsberg Gruppen to bring the K-239 to Scandinavia.